So today we are going to cover a very simple uh, basic tutorial on how to create a PowerPoint presentation. So as you can see, I've already selected a template for our presentation. Um, you simply open up PowerPoint. Um, it'll take you to the Home tab. You can either start with a blank slate and create everything from scratch, or there's some different templates that you can choose from. And, you know, as you see here, I selected one with a black backdrop and what looks to be a uh, hardwood floor to accent the bottom of the slide. So first, we're going to change our title. We are going to do a history report with PowerPoint. So we have our title there, what the report is over. In the subtitle, we are going to put name and school and date of the presentation. Next, we want to create more slides. So um, take your mouse, uh, you find the slides tab, click new slide, and it'll add the one, add a slide with the same templates. Um, we'll go ahead and add a couple more here. Now, each slide, you want to make sure that you have, um, you know, a title for the slide, followed by a couple important bullet points for your presentation. Um, by no means do you want to include, uh, you know paragraphs or even even too many sentences worth of information on your slides it can be a little overwhelming for your viewers uh, you also don't want to have too much reliance on the uh, the presentation with PowerPoint um, as well it, it's supposed to help with what you're doing it's not supposed to completely support what you're doing so something good that you can do is you know, create your PowerPoint presentation, you know, highlight some important things down here in your uh, text box, and then have uh, either note cards or, you know, from memory, you're going to have all the information that you want to cover with your presentation. Again, this is more of, you know, a crutch. It's supposed to help you along. It's not supposed to do all the work for you. So, you know, um, we'll have our first slide be over World War One. Uh, you have bullet one, you have text. As you enter down, it will add more bullets for you, so you can continue adding important points to your slide. And then we are even going to add in a picture. So if you take your mouse and you go up to the Insert tab, you'll find Images. And we'll, we'll do it the easy way this time. You can upload your own, but if you select online pictures and do a search, it will pull pictures from the internet that we can put directly onto our slides. Here, let's do this. And then we will resize it. You know, and now we have a little flare for our slide there. You know, click on the next slide, go to add title, World War II. We'll do the same thing. You add in your important bullet points. We'll resize the text box here. Let's add in another picture. Now for our last slide, typically you want to have a bibliography. Now with this slide, you are going to list the book information that you may have pulled, uh, you know, some of your info from. You'll have URLs from different websites. Uh, anything else that you may have pulled out, you need to cite here. This is a, this is a works cited page. You need people to know where you pulled your information from. Um, so this is very important to include, include with any report or presentation that you may be doing. You know, there's much more that we can do with PowerPoint here, but as far as the basics go, this is it, and this can help you out with a presentation or report tremendously.